My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Slay the Spire, modded with a construct still. I know, I know, I'm playing a lot of the constructs, but can you blame me? Yes? Uh, uh, you ruined... Well, I had a whole thing I was going to see. <sighs> All right, fine. Yeah, you can blame me. Uh, choose a card to obtain seems like a good idea here. Losing all my gold for 16 max HP. I mean, you don't need max HP if you never get hit, right? And choose a card to obtain is going to give me the ability to choose a card that I might want to mega upgrade super early on. What is the point of focus beam? Nine upgrades to 12. Put this on top of your draw pile. I, I just don't see it. I don't see it. I guess it's just an attack. You've got a lot of the time. <laughs> That's about it. I've got three midline rests here as well on a line with two elites. You know what? I'm just going to take it as an aggressive card so that I can fight those early elites. Uh, defends. And then I actually am going to shift into attack mode because oftentimes similar to how it is doing now, the enemy will decide on turn two to defend. I was kind of banking on that. There's a strength potion for me, auto turret, backfire, and versatility. Um, I, really want I would have taken backfire if I didn't have focus beam. I don't think I'm taking any of this. Upgrade a card? Sure, let's upgrade that focus beam. I want to know... It becomes zero cost. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> I wanted to know what was so special about it. I'm glad I finally found out. All right, cultists on that. It's probably just going to be double defense focus beam from me because the next stand is going to have attack mode as well as a bunch of attacks. And I can just use that to polish the enemy off. Tumble Laser Core Heavy Bolt. The upgraded, the mega upgraded version of this rubber uh, allows you to discard two cards and then draw two cards, not randomly. And I think it also decreases the cost of Heavy Bolt to one. So this is going to allow us to then try and pick up the Focus Beam we just put back on top of our deck. I'm going to use a Heavy Bolt Focus Beam deck. I don't like that sentence because I dislike both of the cards, frankly. But if it works, it works. A truism, if I've ever heard it. Sure, but if it works, it works. All right. Easy kill. Flame Call Zapper and Fierce Bash. I guess Heavy Bolt is a way to get myself to cycle more easily, so Flame Call wouldn't be bad. Mega upgrading Flame Call is pretty good. Uh, I keep putting calls in all of my decks. I need to stop doing that. Because it just locks me into a certain kind of deck archetype a lot of the time. There's our focused beam upgrade to be zero cost. Oh, this isn't even fair. All right. My strength potion? Because I can just wait and then play in attack mode. I'm going to need to get some attack modes up because we're actually going to go all aggressive against this lug ball. And so there's our first attack mode. Now we're going to be cycling all defenses. Hopefully we get back to an attack mode. And we do as well as a heavy bolt. Hell yes. I'll use a strength potion here as well because this fight is still going to be rough. Excellent. There's our focus beam. Strike, focus beam back on top of the deck. I take 18. I mean, that's pretty small, all things considered. Regal Pillow, heal additional 15 HP when you rest, as well as a fairy in the bottle. When you would die, heal 10% of your max HP instead and discard this potion. Siege Form. See, if I can get a deck with Siege Form and Hazard Proof, I can keep all of the strength that I gain from Siege Form until the end of a turn all of the time. But I haven't got the ability to do that yet. I'll just take Siege Form. It's rare. I think Heavy Bolt at the moment can stay that way. I think I'm going to upgrade Siege Form and then Mega Upgrade it. I think it becomes 5 on its Mega Upgrade. Yeah. When you play a guard, gain 5 strength until the end of the turn. Blood Vial at the start of each combat. Healed for 2 HP. 
Mega upgrade that Siege Form. That's now a uh, win condition. It's a strength-based deck using... Oh, no. If I wanted to get another upgrade, I could actually scoot on over to the left. And I could Mega Upgrade Heavy Bolt before we leave this floor. But I really want to fight the Elites. <sighs> All right, I'm giving up an upgrade. Got to start fighting that Fungi Beast in the back line. Easy. All right. Having a zero cost card especially is going to be pretty handy with respect to this Siege form. So I've seen Stasis before. There have been a couple of people who said something along the line of uh, face palm on that Stasis pass up. I don't really like it. It's so delayed in its effect. So you exhaust the card. Then the next time you play Stasis, you will exhaust a different card, but it will add a mega upgraded copy of the original card to your hand. I relatively always keep relatively thin decks, which results in having very few cards that really contribute towards my win condition, but they're mega upgraded and super powerful and I draw them a lot of the time. Um, this becomes three, and then I think the upgraded version just becomes... Sorry, it becomes two, and then I think the mega upgraded version just becomes three. I'm not going to take it. I'm also not going to take mode shift. I don't want to have to think. I've had to do too much thinking recently. No thinking. Mode shift decks are just all thinking. The worst. All right. Attack mode heavy bolt. The... There's a siege form I can't get. Yeah, it's rough. I do know that my next is going to be the focus theme. So I do have a possibility of taking the sentry out in time. And we've lost the ability to do that. That's rough. That's okay. The focus theme will kill this sentry. At the very least, I know that the next elite I fight is literally incapable of being the sentry. Counterbalance during boss and elite fights. Enemy strength gain, block gain, and healing is reduced by half, as well as a regen potion for us. All of that's pretty damn good. Tumble, we don't really cycle. Yeah, I'm not going to take any of those. Thank you. I'd love to play Siege Form right now, but I'm not taking 12 damage just to play Siege Form. Are you kidding me? Uh, focused Beam, Heavy Bolts. That's, what, 29 damage? And then the Focus Beam gets drawn again as well. Can we get another? Yeah, we're fine. That's lethal. This is exactly the kind of combo I was planning around when I got those two cards. Let's go accumulate and analyze. Is there anything I desperately want to double copy in my deck? Like, I could copy all of the focus beams, but it doesn't even seem that good. Analyze. Still really don't like it. And laser core, I've been skipping the cores. May as well continue. Awesome. Awesome. I'm going to Heavy Bolt before I do anything else, because it's unlikely it discards both of the strikes. All right. Probably going to need a regen potion in this fight. Yeah, I will play the Siege form. I feel like it's going to be important enough. Uh, attack Mode, Heavy Bolt, Focus Beam. Or oh, Attack Mode, Focus Beam, Heavy Bolt, and then we get the Focus Beam back for the kill. Easy. Bottle Tornado. Upon pickup, choose a power card at the start of each combat. That card will be in your opening hand. That can only... Oh, this is here. We've got the hazard proof. Okay, good. Bottle Tornado. Put the Siege Form in my opening hand. Now it's just super important. The only thing I really need to worry about right now is getting this hazard proof to Mega Upgrade. Because as soon as I have this Mega Upgraded, it will have three artifacting on it which will prevent the strength loss at the end of three different turns from Siege Form. I'm going to have an insane amount of strength, y'all. I'm going to shift to attack mode to increase my cycle through the deck. Mm -hmm. Cool. That was a lot of damage. Another attack mode, and then I'll strike, and that's yeah, fine. It's a wee bit of overkill, sure, but it worked. Can't argue with the results. Got him. Ah. 
you know, see, if I take Hammer down, I can get ridiculous strength numbers, right? Because I'll keep it all from Siege 4 and then I'll Hammer down as well. But Hammer down's really expensive. And I already have my mega upgrade targets. I think I just want cheap cards. Siege form is our win condition. We we don't need to win more with Hammer Down. We already have our ridiculous strength generation in this deck. All right, I've got to get reserves. Abe's Treasure. Gain energy at the start of your turn. Start each combat with Drowning. There's also Chewing Gum. Gain energy at the start of each turn. Every time you shuffle your deck, add three slime to your draw pile. That's pretty garbage for us. And Black Star Elites drop an additional Relic when defeated. We need the extra energy. We have too many expensive cards. Abe's, tre Abe's Treasure seems pretty good for us. So I'll show you Drowning when we go into a fight. You have probably seen it before because it is the mechanic that exists in the boss fight with Abe. We're probably going to take one fewer elites on this floor to get an extra rest. So here's the drowning mechanic. At the end of your turn, lose zero HP. When you take unblocked attack damage, in, uh, decrease... Sorry, increases the drowning stacks when you take unblocked attack damage and decreases when you deal unblocked attack damage. The range is negative one to ten, but the thing is, negative one doesn't heal you, right? Siege form. Acid proof. Now I get to keep that strength. Hell Yeah. Defend, defend. I may as well defend again. Attack mode strike, sure. Still got focused beam in here. Yep. This is, this is going pretty well. Okay. Let's have a look at the mega upgrade for Omega Cannon. Deal 20 damage twice, costs one less for each strength you have. That's actually going to be pretty ridiculous for us. That's, that's going to be 40 damage plus. Uh, what? It's not even 40 damage, right? It's it's 20 plus strength times 2 for 0 almost all of the time for us. We'll take Omega Cannon. Thank you. <laughs> Siege form. I want a defense mode. Yeah, I'm going to defense mode defend. <sighs> Unfortunately, I now have a drowning stack on me. All right. So I play the attack mode before I hazard proof. Because I don't want the artifacting affecting the attack mode loss. I want it affecting the 25 strength that we gained from Siege form there. And now we've got the Omega Cannon in the deck, as I said. It's just insane. Vent Steam. I do want a copy of Vent Steam in this deck, so I have the ability to exhaust cards. It's also worth noting the upgrade of this is 3 weak and vulnerability to all enemies. This is also just a nice little bit of vulnerability application that we don't really have. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess I do this, right? It's just going to upgrade my strikes effectively. And we aren't cycling our strikes often, so it's totally fine. I'm actually a little tempted, honestly, to remove the defense mode. Because this is definitely an aggressive deck. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go, here we go. Eh, it's pretty good. And Caridian, at the start of each combat, add a random power card to your hand. It costs zero until the end of the turn. You can see I'm going on my one Fure Elites path. We'll mega upgrade that Hazard Proof and then the Omega Cannon. Siege Form. Auto Turret. Uh, hazard proof attack mode. It's the most defense that I could gain that turn. There's our Omega Cannon. I should probably just vent steam on one of these defends. No, I'll vent steam on a, on a bike. It's fine. Double defend and Omega Cannon for 76. All right, I'm going to double buy it before I do anything else. Yeah, because I don't think they're going to survive and it's going to give me some HP back. Molten Egg, whenever you add an attack card to your deck, it is upgraded as well as just a lot of things I don't really want. 
Not in this deck, not right now. There's our upgraded Omega Cannon. Auric Calcum, if you end your turn without block, gain six block. Hell yeah. We don't even block at all, so that's perfect. Overcharge, at the start of your turn, gain an energy and add a burn to your hand. I think we can actually afford to use that. Oddly enough. Okay. Yeah, that was surprisingly good. Okay. So we focus beam, defend, defend, defend. Omega Cannon comes. 80 damage by itself. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Always do our defenses first. I think we actually might just have lethal straight up. I'm not even going to bother calculating it. It's definitely close enough. Okay. Dreamcatcher, whenever you rest your medical to your deck. I don't really need another focus beam. It's all working for me at the moment. Siege form, play the reactive shield for free. If I vent steam on the heavy bolt, I can set up an Omega Cannon that's going to kill the Frontliner. Which is pretty damn good. Defend, defend, defend. Might focus me. If I desperately wanted to toy with my food here, I could have just waited and bitten every single turn. Drop the Dex Potion for a Steroid Potion, definitely. Chain Strike. I don't want to turn this into a Chain Strike deck right now. I want the extra rest rather than the extra shot. Lantern, gain energy on the first turn of each combat. That is extremely important because we do have Siege Form, quite expensive in our opening hand. Um, upgrade the Vent Steam. Okay. This all looks good. Then we'll defend by Focus Beam. One down. I want the attack mode to give me negative defense, so I'll play the defend first, then the attack mode, then the hazard proof, getting me fully defended from the enemy's current incoming attack. But now I have negative decks, so these defends will cycle because of the panic fire. Well, they'll cycle because they naturally will, but because they're also unupgraded, they'll explode and exhaust themselves because of the panic fire. Smoke bomb, escape from a non-boss combat and receive no rewards. Of course, we're not going to take that. Sweep laser, deal six damage, then six to all enemies. So this is, you know, six, then another six to the target that you target and six to everyone else. That's the important thing, right? It's not just deal six to all enemies. Um, and then the upgraded version is deal five to all enemies twice. I mean, that's like... We don't actually have any AoE in this deck right now, so I guess I can't really justify not taking it. Fine. Who's our boss as well? It's champion. Okay, so it's not actually super important to have the sweep laser ready. But that said, next floor is a lot of AoE, so having a sweep laser is probably a good idea. Siege form, spin drive, bites. Hazard proof, hell yeah. Could scarcely have gone better, in fact. I'm going to be burning a bite here because I definitely need to double defend. Actually, I'm going to burn that attack mode. Yeah. And then 52 and 52 twice. It's pretty good. And then 82 twice. That was also okay. This siege form is doing pretty well. I mean, I guess it's okay, right? Like, it's it's fine. Brutal champ murder on turn three. Spin drive battery core bunker. We do have a little bit of problem paying for things. Is that true? That's not actually true. We don't need the battery core. Spin drive. Um... Uh, not really as well. well. I guess spin drive is interesting because it then becomes that I can like play focused beam and it depends on whether or not I draw after or before the effect of focus beam. 
But since it puts itself back on top of the draw pile as part of its action, I imagine the resolution will have me draw the focus beam, so it will allow me to just focus beam, focus beam, focus beam. It's another expensive power, though. Where am I going to get the time to play them? No, the deck is doing fine as is. Like, it, it doesn't need that. As much as I want the extra energy, I also think that removing two cards from the deck is a totally reasonable thing to do here. That said, I think it's probably also reasonable to consider removing, like, both bites. How much do I want extra energy? If I see any extra draw, will I take it? Yeah. Alright, it's ring time. It's a dome. <sighs> okay. It's a path with a lot of upgrades and a relatively early shop. It doesn't have that many elites, but still. Meltdown. At the start of your turn, deal 15 damage to all enemies and add two burns to your hand. That's not great. That said, it's another zero cost that I can play this turn. Okay. There we go. Unfortunately, that did result in me taking damage. Here we can see the mega upgrade for Heavy Bolt. So it becomes one, and then you choose what cards to, uh, to discard. Which is pretty good. I mean, Tesseract spinning in the air. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the chance on this one. Apotheosis. I mean, Apotheosis would be pretty good for our bites. Our reserve. I guess, like, I could take Apotheosis. It also takes Secret Technique there pretty happily. Dramatic Entrance is actually really good because I play the Seed Form, then I play two other cards from my hand, and then the Dramatic Entrance by that time is 18 damage to all enemies. Exhaust. It's totally great. There's the Apotheosis Original. The Ultimate Defense! Gain one Artifact, gain one Dex, gain five Plated Armor, gain five Shielding. Upgrades to two to one Intangible, so you can actually... The upgrade is definitely necessary for this, because the fact that you get Intangibility is extremely important. It allows you to offset the cost of the turn on which you play it. I think I'll actually take the ultimate defense here. And hell, I'll take Apotheosis as well. Draw two additional cards in your opening hand is pretty ridiculous. Chemical X, whenever you play a cost for X card, its effects are increased by two. I don't think I have any X cost cards. I do not. Okay, so we'll take the bag of preparation. Are there any shops? Oh, there's a shop literally one space ahead of me. Okay, cool. We'll do that, and then we're going to start removing these defense. Okay. And I see there's another way to gain artifact, but I have a much more effective way in my deck already. Lee's Waffle upon pickup, raise your max HP by 7 and heal all of your HP. I think it might actually just be that. This is a lot of draw, but we don't need it. This up mega upgrades to deal 80 damage and put four days on top of your draw pile. So unless you're using it as a finisher, you're guaranteeing your next turn is going to be a wee bit garbo. All right. Is there a shop later? I, I could hold out for a later shop. The only other spot that we are going to that could be a shop is here. This can't be. Just due to the spawning rules of shops, you can't have a question mark shop directly after a shop, but you can still have one directly before. Um, all right, I'm actually just going to card remove. Mm. I'm going to take the Madnesses because playing the Madness and then playing the card that the Madness allows you to play is, it's playing two cards, right? It's good for the Siege form. Okay. So we'll play Siege form, Panic Fire... I'll probably vent steam the defend before I madness. Then it's bite. And then it's sweep laser. And then it's a dramatic entrance for 49 to all enemies. The dramatic entrance should have been earlier than the sweep laser, but it didn't make a difference. Divine protection. Gain eight shielding at the start of each combat, as well as 
it's really, really difficult to convince me to take a card at this point. <laughs> you gotta be aware of that game. I'll upgrade the Apotheosis so it's not so expensive to play. This is literally the last space where I can spend my money. Sure. Well, overpaid for a red mask, but that's fine. Ancient tea set. Whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with two extra energy. That's beautiful because I'm trying to hit every single rest site, so. I'll also upgrade the ultimate defense just in case I draw it before Apotheosis. You can't mega upgrade cards while you're in combat, by normal means at least. Oh god. Well, this is gonna be buck heckin' walls. Bye. Anyway, you can't mega upgrade cards in the normal course of actions. There's a couple act things that can mega upgrade cards during combat, but let's ignore that for the moment. You can't mega upgrade cards during combat, so the Apotheosis won't be able to mega upgrade like uh, an attack mode. If I had attack mode upgraded already, it won't mega upgrade it. Fear Potion, Scrap Cannon. I could take a single Scrap Cannon. Exhaust. No, I don't need it. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Got to upgrade the Manuses. Again, I'm upgrading the things that I'm very likely to play before Apotheosis. Mm -hmm. So it's Siege Form. Definitely Reactive Shield. Well, Attack Mode before we Hazard Proof. I'll Defend Madness. I'm going to use the Dramatic first, discard nothing, and then use this for draw effectively. Damn. Yeah, we actually ended up taking damage there. Really, really expecting not to. Oh, well. <clears> oh, <throat> Mori, negate the next two curses you obtain. We literally do not have the capability to obtain a curses at this point. Take none of those. This Siege Form Dramatic Entrance thing is just... It's really neat. I gotta be honest. Super neat. Aww. I didn't even get to do it in the cool way. Weak Potion is probably more powerful than Fairy in a Bottle for me because we're not gonna get to the point that Fairy in a Bottle is needed or useful. And final upgrade's gonna be on that madness. All right, let's go. Let's go there, big, big boss man. All right, Siege Form and Apotheosis definitely need to be played. I didn't want to play Meltdown, but I guess I'm playing Meltdown now. I'm not gonna choose to defend myself on this opening turn. Good, the enemy didn't didn't even attack on that turn. Excellent. So easy madness. Do that. Heavy bolts not mega upgraded. So I can focus beam. Heavy bolt. And I guess I'm focus beaming again. This means I'm also probably gonna take damage this turn. Yeah. Enemy is going to try and purge this turn, though, which we can probably stop. Yeah, if I play a single hazard proof, Omega Cannon becomes zero, so I can play Madness on the Bite intentionally. Hell yeah! We didn't even get to use the Steroid Potion or the Fear Potion because we had Vulnerability set up at all times from the first turn. And the Steroid Potion, I was waiting until after I had my Artifacting, but I killed on the turn that I got my Artifacting. That was not bad. Siege Form is a lot better than I thought it was. It grows a lot faster and much more reliably in this deck than the thing against which I was comparing it being Demon Form. For the moment, though, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire Modded. Hopefully, you've been enjoying yourselves. The link to all of the mods currently in play 
is in the description down below. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we will see you next time.